What's going on YouTube family? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas and I'm back this week with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do a super rad zoom sequence effect. Easy peasy. Let's get it! All right, so I recently had a vacation and I was cutting up a vlog. I wanted to do like a little trailer slash sizzle type of attention grabbing segment in the beginning and I just started mashing things up and I wanted to show you guys how to do this super rad effect and it's really easy to do so the first file you put on your timeline you want it to be a regular video file there's my son right there on the airplane and then you're gonna have I would add like maybe six six or more scenes that you want to add in a video and then and close it out with another scene like we did in the beginning so I have some random stuff and this scene right here the second scene is a chandelier and we're gonna make sure that all these scenes in the middle of this quote-unquote sandwich are only three frames so I'm gonna count one two three and then I will cut using B my blade tool and cut it up and we're gonna do the same for everything else so scrub through your footage scrub through your scenes and pick out a part that you want to utilize in this video again select it one two three hitting our right arrow key get the blade tool chop it up well that chop wasn't too good you guys can also do this just line them up accordingly and do it that way and just move the cursor over to the left whatever floats your boat one two three ha ah, speaking of boat look at this i was on a boat my first cruise pretty fun times chop off the excess once we have that the first part of the scene is good we don't have to do anything to it it can be however long the duration i wouldn't go longer than five seconds but mine's at two seconds and then this is where the fun part is. So for all these scenes in between the front and the end, we're gonna add keyframes. So what we do is we select the file, then we come over here to transform and on scale, we're gonna hit this diamond, diamond sign. Make sure it turns yellow. Then we're gonna drag all the way over to the very end and we're gonna boost these up by 200%. Again, we're gonna do the same for the next one. Hit the diamond over here, go all the way to the end, and we're gonna boost it 200%. And we're gonna do this for every scene inside, 200%. Now for this one, I don't wanna go too zoomed. I wanna keep the same concept. So we're gonna hit the diamond again, and I'm gonna use the right arrow to go one, two, three. And I'm only gonna do maybe 130, nothing too crazy. Just a little bit, and we'll keep that same energy. Once we have that, this is a little preview of what it'll look like. Pretty cool, huh? Now it's time to spice it up. And it's time to add some music. I went on YouTube and got some free beats. I got a swoosh noise. And now... There you have it. Something really cool to spice up any video project you're working on or if you wanna create something for social media or you wanna get creative and ignite those sparks. I figured I'd share this with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it was easy to follow. If you did, slap that like button for me. And if you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials like this in the future, as well as unboxings, reviews, and of course, filmmaking tips and tricks, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya!